You are so sexy right now, babe. You didn't cut the grass, now you cooking dinner. I am so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I need to step back Constantly online, causing me setbacks, ooh Every day see so many people doing the things you do And they're doing it better too, whoa, whoa There's like, why should I even try? When there's always some other guy Who's way ahead of you But makes it look easy Why would they need me? Oh, I hear it now I'm just being needy Try not to envy you, to get angry you, do it better than me I try not to hate myself, to lose confidence But you always do it better than me I just wanna be loved like you I just want them to see me too Just wanna be the one they choose, yeah I just That's really, really cool for you Yeah, everything you do is cool It's kind of unbelievable It's all so unachievable Yeah, almost inconceivable I'll never do yeah, it I like, feel like using all, but <laughs> They already biting See him. Okay Ugh, I can't breathe Philip decided that he wants to clean the trailer Because these streaks are driving him nuts. <laughs> the on the so he's gonna do a quick clean. Yep, it comes right off too. Cool. And what did you use? Simple green? Simple green. It's working wonders. From the dollar store? From the dollar store. <laughs> dollar tree. Works perfect. You need to come here? Okay, cool. Whenever Philip can save a couple dollars, if he can do it himself, he gonna do it himself. <laughs> Everything in here just feels so sandy and so dirty from we were at the big lagoon. So I'm gonna wipe some things down, clean up in here a little bit. like Cinderella I gotta get rid of this dust I can't do it hey y'all how's it going oh it's another hot one y'all but we are at another beautiful Florida State Park we are at Black Water River State Park and it is a beautiful y'all we have a beautiful campsite let me show y'all I really hate that we only have one day here this is site 15, very large site, private, secluded, my favorite. Y'all know I am in heaven right now. <laughs> very secluded site, beautiful, beautiful site. And it's private all the way around. And another bonus, it actually has sewer. This is what you would call a perfect situation for us <laughs> in a Florida State Park because it is gorgeous. Look at those trees. Surrounded by trees. And we are at Blackwater River 
State Park in, is this considered Holt or Milton? Milton, Florida? Uh, Milton. Milton, Florida, I believe. Yeah, so it's a very beautiful park, very spacious. It has sewer connections for those who don't like to use the dump station. And Site 15 is a highly sought after spot because it is private, it's big. And um, yeah, now the only downside is that it has been storming. So since it has been storming, access to the river is closed. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys that today. But we're going to see if we can go on one of the trails. They have a few trails with the boardwalk. I'm not really sure if they're open or not. But um, if not, we'll just chill at the campsite today. We did have uh, subscribers that was asking us a few questions in the comments. So we can take this time to answer some of you guys' questions. <laughs> I thought about doing a live, but we're not ready for that yet. So we're just going to answer your questions. So what do you think, babe? We're good to go. We're good to take the bikes down. Let's take a lap. All right, sounds good. So we're gonna do a bike ride. Oh, it is so beautiful, y'all. Look at these trees. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. This is my type of campsite. <laughs> okay, this is my type of campsite. Yes. We're gonna do a quick loop around. It's not a very big park at all and show y'all the campsites. Hello. Okay, there's seven. Seven is cool. This is seven right here. Okay. So we'll uh, be moving over to seven tomorrow. It's a lot of shade over there too. Oh yeah, seven, seven, yeah, seven, good spot. Yeah, that's a good spot. I think that'd be better than uh, than six. Yeah, seven would be cool. Yeah. You gotta be careful. You don't run out the edge. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turn my thing on. So these trails are closed, right? Um, I don't know. We can walk down there and check it out and see. see. Um, see how far we can go. Yeah. Well, not with the bikes. We're going to take the bike around that other loop. Cool. It's a very cool setup. It's kind of small, but it's, uh, Perfect. Oh yeah, eleven is big. Eleven is a big, a nice big site too. Twelve and thirteen is big if you got um, somebody camping with you. Yep. Eleven, fifteen, and seven look like they're the best sites on this. Huh? I think seven got more shade. Seven got more shade. Yeah, it does look like that. TT loop. <laughs> That's um, that way. So, take us a ride. And look at all of those trees. Beautiful. They do have two loops here. One loop is smaller than the other loop. There is some flooding, so I don't know if we're going to be able to go on the trail or not, but we're going to try and see. But um, if it's flooded, I'm not messing around because there are alligators out here. <laughs> so we're going to go over here and see if it is flooded. See if we can walk the trail. Check this trail out.
They also have a day use area, but I'm not sure if the day use area is open right now because of the storm and the flooding. But on a normal day, you can come over here and check out the trails. And they have a river with beach access. Um, looks like the trail might be open. You think it's open? You think it's open? Oh, that's the river beach use area. Can we? Yeah. Okay. We can try. I don't know if we can take them on the pavilion, though. Okay. Let's see. It's a lot of water. Uh, you going to try to take the bike? Okay, I'm going to walk the bike. <laughs> I'm going to walk it. <laughs> Ooh. Can an alligator get up here? Oh, wow. It's very alligatory, too. Ooh, wee. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Ooh, this is creepy. Very creepy. Ooh! <laughs> I blew the horn and scared myself. This is creepy. Look at it back here. Down there. Oh, is it? It looks pretty cool. Though. Yeah, you gotta look at it. I'm gonna leave my bike right here. Me too, but really, it ain't no worth it. I wonder if you didn't see an alligator. An alligator out here? Said out there on that other trail, just chilling on the water. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, it's flooded out. Are people in the water? Yeah. What? With the alligators? And they in the water. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well, that current is pretty strong, too. Usually there's a beach out here, but the beach is completely flooded. So you know, alligators could be close. Wow. But you can see them swimming yeah, around. If I had that little net drop it down here with some bread, I can fill a bucket full of minnows. Easy. Hmm. I bet you you can put some worms on the hook and catch perch down there, isn't it? Oh, look at that lizard. <laughs> this is a cypress swamp. Oh, you know it's some alligators in there. I can't believe they're over there standing in it, fishing. Something 
over there. What is that? Just that noise. Ooh. Oh, oh, said bird. Let's see what Philip is cooking for dinner. What is that? Potatoes and leg quarters. I'm just mm. letting them get the smoke on them, and then I'm gonna put them on the grill. Okay, looks good. What was them logs from uh, your mom and dad's? Yeah, a few. I had a few of them. Oh my goodness, y'all. I just saw another red bird. Like, what is going on? I feel like they're following me. I've never seen so many red birds before in my life. I mean, my son has been on my mind a lot lately, and maybe that's his way of communicating with me. I don't know, but the other day I was sitting in the office, in my office, and a red bird flew over in front of the window and landed in the yard. And it started coming up, walking toward the window, but a car came by and scared it. Like, I've been seeing so many red birds. But maybe it's my baby. He's trying to communicate with me from the other side, letting me know, hey, he's still here with me. <laughs> but it's just really been, I won't say freaking me out, but I, I am definitely paying attention. I'm, I'm paying attention. I am. But yeah, for y'all that don't know, my oldest son, he passed away in March of 2020. And um, I don't really talk about it a lot because I try to have a like a real upbeat, you know, inspirational, fun, loving um, type of energy going. But if my energy seems down in this video, that's why, because he's been on my mind a lot lately. And... Um, but yeah, you know, now this big old dragonfly just landed here. And I mean, I know I'm outside, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to see birds. I'm going to see insects and everything like that. But I don't know. i just been paying attention to a lot lately. And it's like the universe has been communicating with me. And it has been like so amazing. Like, that's why I like being out here in this environment so I can listen to whatever messages are coming to me. I'm listening. <laughs> oh, and although I miss him so much, so much, especially here lately, I miss him so much, but I made a decision that I didn't want that to be the last story that I told, you know, I would rather share happy times and good times and you know but we're all human so you just never know what a person has gone through so check on your strong friends you know check on check on your strong friends check on the friends that's always there for you when you need somebody to be there for you check on them friends because those are the friends that seem like they got it all together but they may be having the hardest time <laughs> check on your friends but you know, sometimes we look at people's lives and we think, oh, we wish that we had what they had, but you really don't know what a person may have gone through. You don't know <laughs> what they may have gone through in order to be where they are in their life. So that's why it's so good just to be grateful and be thankful for what you have and appreciate the little things in life. But it feels absolutely amazing out here. It feels so good out here. like. The weather is perfect, perfect. Like when, when it feels like this outside, I can stay out here all day. I can stay out here all day because it feels so good. And with this view, <laughs> this view, this view and the sound of nature in the background, Philip liked to listen to his blues, but I told him, just give me a few more minutes. <laughs> A few more minutes of listening to the sounds of nature and then we can listen to a little bit of blues but man this is just what I need right now really what I need right now and maybe somebody else need it right now too and that's why you watching this video but 
go to your local park you know get out in nature go to if you have a a lake nearby go to the lake or go to the park and just get out and get some fresh air if you can you know if you can or open up the windows in your house if you can't leave the house and just breathe in some good fresh air <laughs> To be honest, this is almost the same view that we have at the house we just moved to. But the noises that you hear coming from back there. Y'all hear that? I don't be sitting out here. <laughs> what is going on out there? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't sit out here. <laughs> I don't sit out there. Philip sit out there, but I don't sit out there. We are at Blackwater State Park, another beautiful Florida State Park. It's not a big campground, but it's um, perfect. Perfect for just chilling and relaxing. Um, the plan is to go fishing tomorrow. Philip wanted to do some freshwater fishing so we're gonna go try out Bear Lake in uh, Baker Florida I think it's in Baker Milton uh, Hope they're all around the same area so we're gonna go try to do some freshwater fishing tomorrow but other than that we're just chilling just chilling I wonder are these edible berries they're all over here. Hmm. Said that they're edible. You gonna eat one, Philip? <laughs> Dewberry. You said they're edible. Yeah, they're, they're edible. smaller than uh, they're blackberries, though. They they're smaller than blackberries, though. It's yeah. a, it's a lot of them over here. A lot of I don't see. Oh, there's a there's okay. A right there. There's a black one. That one's right. Are you gonna eat it? No, I ain't gonna eat it, but yeah. That's... Why is it so small? But it's it's like a um, blackberry. A little dewberry. Hmm. They only come out early June, and then they dry up, and then blackberry come out later in the season. Yeah, I know. We have a whole bunch of blackberries in front of the house that we just moved into. I'm gonna have to show y'all those one day. We move closer to the country, and there are we have a whole bushel of a blackberry tree. Okay, there's a black one. I'm still wondering what kind of what kind of uh, footprints are those? They deep. It look like something heavy, whatever it is, because it's deep in the ground. <laughs> they over eating these berries. Oh yes, a lot of them over here. We're surrounded by them. The right time of the year, we can make us a dewberry salad, huh? <laughs> and it ain't as creepy as when we sit outside at home. Yeah. Let's see what Philip got going on. Oh, he didn't put some green beans on there. Oh, and those are some potatoes. Ooh, that's too hot. I can't pull that open just yet. Ooh, that looks good. Mm, mm, mm. I will say one thing, y'all. It is very convenient having a door to the bathroom when you're sitting outside. And you don't have to walk all the way through the whole trailer to use the restroom. I mean, that might be TMI, but I'm saying it. It's very convenient having a separate bathroom door. You love cooking outside, don't you? Absolutely. <laughs> I never spent so much time outside before I met you. Yeah. Never did. <laughs> the only way to do it. Yep, it's a nice vibe out here, but the skeeters start biting through my shirt. It's time to go in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time to go in. The skeeters is biting. They biting me through my shirt. See the stuff you gotta deal with when you're married to a fisherman. Worms, 
live worms in the refrigerator. That's the kind of stuff you got to deal with. <laughs> Y'all know Philip got to always outdo himself. We got the grilled on the open flame char grilled leg quarters. He didn't put some green beans on the smoker and he didn't threw some cheese on the potatoes. Now, Philip, <laughs> that's why I got that double chin right now. And he made some peanut butter chocolate chip cookies the other day, y'all, from some peanut butter that he made from scratch. I'm gonna show y'all that peanut butter in a minute. <laughs> Oh my goodness, them potatoes. Did you taste the potatoes? They good. Man, they are bomb. They get that smoke taste in there that, from that wood that you put on there. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. How you get them green beans to taste so good? I smoked them. Oh my God. So uh -huh. good. Uh-uh. Out here. Ooh. Oh, you let that fire out? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be the ones to burn the forest down. <laughs> the life of a fisherman's wife <laughs> it's not even six o'clock in the morning good morning y'all philip got us up before the the rooster crow <laughs> going fishing up before the rooster crow but he wanted to do some freshwater fishing today and it's best to do it at daybreak so we probably running late it's like five minutes after six right now. So we might have got a late start. We was trying to beat the sun before it gets too hot. Get a couple of hours in. But um, we're going over to Bear Lake in Baker, Florida. And um, see if we can get some. We're going for some crappie. What up? What up? Fish. Catfish. Catfish. Crappie. Panfish. Panfish, which is perch, perch, bluegill, bluegill, shell cracker. Okay. All that kind of stuff. Okay. So I will get back with y'all after we get there. But we out here in the backwoods of Florida looking for this lake. The sun is coming up. Continue on Bear Lake Road for half a mile. Oh, we out in the country for real. Philip got me out here. They also have a campground here, but um, yeah. I think this is more primitive camping. They don't have, uh, do they have electric and water out here? Yeah. Oh, they do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see the boxes. Okay. All right. I like the little bear statues. Those are so cute. I have them bear statues. Ooh, look at that lake. It's so pretty. Wait until I show y'all how pretty this lake is. Way to start the morning so we're camping out at Blackwater River State Park but we decided to drive over to Bear Lake Philip wanted to get him some fresh water fishing in and um, I think he already caught a little perch he's gonna use it for bait see if he can catch a catfish but it's a beautiful lake. Beautiful lake. But I'm not trying to get too close, so I'm gonna sit in the car and let him fish. <laughs> because, uh, yeah.
What is that? It's a minnow net. A minnow net, okay. Catch minnows with. Use for bait. I don't want to go too close. Something might come up out the water and grab me. Pretty big lake. It is. The uh, minnows. Yeah, y'all. I used to get excited about fishing, but I just don't get excited about fishing anymore. You know, um, I don't mind being supportive and sitting out here with him while he fished, but I'm just not excited about fishing anymore. I don't know. I guess because I ain't caught none, and so. <laughs> uh, so, we'll see if he catch anything. I'll let y'all know. It's not even 7 o'clock yet. What is it you trying to show me? They're all over the place. Oh, the little minnows? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, I'm targeting, those minnows. And then you got bluegill swimming right in there. You can see them? You can't see all them fish right now. Oh, yeah, I see them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. Those bait fish. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bait fish. Bait fish. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I see. I see them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see them. I don't know if they showing up on camera, but yeah, I see them. Hold on. Don't hook me. I see them. They, maybe they don't eat worms. <laughs> oh, dude. Mm. Are you alive? Let me get out of your way. You just putting bread in there. That's gonna be nasty. Wet bread. Oh yeah, you can clearly see them. They uh swimming around it, but they were like, nah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. They swimming around it, but they're not swimming into it. Although we left the house at 6 a.m., I think we got a late start. So I don't know if we're gonna go to a different lake or um uh, I don't know. But it's already heating up, y'all. So hopefully he get his feel pretty soon. Cause it's gonna be a hot one. It's 7.30 y'all. Phillip's still out there trying to catch a fish. <laughs> he said he ain't giving up. He's still trying to catch some. That breeze feels so good. So I ain't even tripping. Not uh We got out of here too late. Okay. I feel you. Shoot, we would have had to been out here at dark to be out here on time. Yeah, we got out here too late. Now, I mean, we, we gotta get got up at five o'clock in the morning. If we would have got out here right at daybreak, I think I could have had a bucket full of perch because they all swimming around it. My my worm like I'm crazy. <laughs> Man, we not we not gonna bite that shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, it didn't work for you. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend buying it. <laughs> 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 Fell apart when I put it in the water. Oh, it did. Yeah. Oh, shoot. The broke it. Broke the, uh, the green thing? Yeah, broke the wire on it. Just the current. So it was really cheaply made. Oh. Where you get that from, Timu? Yeah, it was just something I tried out. and It's not working. Oh, okay. Okay, uh. So we headed back to have some breakfast? Well, no. I'm going to try to see if I can find that actual pier. Oh, all right. So we ain't done fishing yet, y'all. Oh, I'm not going to fish it. I'm going to just find it. Oh, okay little country store <laughs> in the backwoods of Florida. Ruth Bells. So Philip made some peanut butter from scratch from some peanuts that we got from Five Guys. <laughs> so Philip is making peanut butter from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> 
instead of just buying it at the grocery store. And he's having to peel each individual peanut and take off the red shell, a hole that's around the peanut. And he's taking the time to do this because he always has to have a project going. <laughs> and also, he made some peach jalapeno jelly. This is my favorite. Got to put me some on a biscuit. Yes. Good morning, y'all. Ooh, that sun is bright. We're gonna go over here to this other trail and see if, ooh, that sun is bright. Goodness gracious. Ooh. We're gonna go over here to this other trail and see if it's um, still flooded out and see how far we can walk down. Um, the river was really high. Like um, the beach access area was completely covered with the river. So we're gonna take a walk and see if we can get some footage for you guys. I'm gonna check this trail out. I don't know how far down we can go and I probably shouldn't have on flip flops. But I didn't bring my tennis shoes. So we just got to keep our eyes open for snakes. And other critters that may be lurking on the ground. We are at Black Water River State Park. Oh, wow. That's as far as you can go. The boardwalk is completely underwater. Oh, wow. The river is all the way up here. Oh, that's kind of spooky because you know the alligators may be close. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. You can see that alligator sign in the distance. Oh yeah. As far down as you can go, the river is all the way up here. The boardwalk is completely covered. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Cause them alligators may be up close. Well, y'all, I tried, but um, that's as far as I'm gonna go. <laughs> the uh, river is flooded all the way over the boardwalk. So you can't even walk that way at all. Completely flooded. Yeah. Well, maybe next time, guys. Another red bird, y'all. Can you see it? I feel like it's been following me. Another red bird. <laughs> so we're about to go give this other trail a try. Um, I'm sure it's gonna probably be flooded out too, but we're gonna see if maybe we can see an alligator or something. Yesterday, somebody said they saw an alligator chilling on the log on the trail. So, we're gonna see. See how it's all flooded up? Man, and this is usually a beach area where you can see the beach. But the river is all the way up here. It makes me really nervous. If alligators can spot you because of the your heartbeat, then uh, hey. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the little baby turtles. Probably wondering what's going on. And when we came over here yesterday, People were actually standing out here in this water. Actually, the water has risen since yesterday. It was down at the tip. Now it's up higher. It's, the water is rising. It's rising. Yeah, there were people standing out there fishing. You can see how strong that current is. 
If you fall and get in there, it's probably going to sweep you on down the river. Yeah, it's going to be a while before it go down. But we've been getting a lot of rain, a lot of storms. And um, we were almost going to cancel this trip too. But we went ahead and came and said that although this is not an exciting trip, this will give us an opportunity to answer some of you guys' questions. So we're going to be doing that in this video. Answering your questions that you've been asking. Wanting to get to know us better. <laughs> and uh, we're going to share it with y'all. As soon as we get back. I'm going to have to go get me a uh, fishing bowl and come back over here and try. <laughs> I'm going to have to go do it. You gotta do it. Yeah, you gonna go get a fishing pole. Yeah, you come back over there. You gonna get tangled. It'll be top water fish you want. Mm. It'll be hard to throw in between the trees. Yeah. If that's the warning sign, it's the alligator near. Uh, let's go on back up here. <laughs> Blackwater River State Park. Another beautiful Florida State Park. But we are in the Blackwater River Forest. So it looks a little different. <laughs> Florida swamps. <laughs> there the fish splash right there. Mm. You want to get your fish bowl? Yeah. <laughs> you don't think your line not gonna get caught up? No, I know, I know how to do it. Mm. All right. These bugs though are treacherous over here. I'm, I'm getting bit up. up. Oh, that breeze feels so good. But Philip on his own. He's gonna go back over there to the swamp and fish. <laughs> he on his own this time, y'all. I got up at 5:30 this morning and went fishing with him, but I'm not going over there to that swamp too many bugs and I feel like it's gonna be a waste of time so I'm just gonna chill and I'll get back with y'all in a minute well I thank God that we have a clear understanding and uh we're not made to do anything we don't want to do because the birthday boy is not the birthday boy anymore the birthday is over <laughs> so I can say no <laughs> I can say no to going to uh fishing in the swamps okay I feel about to go fishing in the swamps, okay? Uh, Y'all see how I'm sweating? Y'all see how I'm sweating? Mm-mm. I can't do it. Mm-mm. Can't do it this time. And you about to really go fishing over there in that swamp. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And he gonna ride his bike over there to fish in the swamp. Okay. All right, have fun. See you when you get back. Okay, y'all, so we have moved sites. We wanted to stay an extra day. So let me show y'all this other site that we have. We were in site 15, now we're in site seven on the other side of the loop. So we moved from site 15 to site seven and it is still a nice site. Blackwater River State Park in Holt, Florida, near the Milton, Florida area. And we still have privacy. It's not as private as 15, but it's still considered privacy. Um, you can see the other rig over there, but barely, because the trees are covering it up. But very nice size site. And we have more shade on this side too. Cool. They're crossing the road. Oh, they little too. Oh, <laughs> they're gonna run back into the forest. So we're at Russell Harbor Landing Park. I mean, you can probably jig fish, but I, I don't know about casting a line out and letting it sit because that, that water's really flowing. You got to work for that. You got to work for that fish. <laughs> well, y'all, we are at Russell Harbor Landing. Um, someone at the campsite told Philip this was a good place to fish. 
So we are here seeing if we can catch fish. You said what, catfish? Yeah, if I had the right kind of bait, I ain't got no chicken liver or nothing. Mm. I mean, I'm well, it's only what thirty minutes from the house. I think it's closer to the house than it is to the um to a Blackwater State Park. We can come over anytime and fish. But it, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna wrap this up with worms and try and throw it out there. Another day of fishing, y'all. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to come with better content than this, right? <laughs> Lord. Okay, so while we're waiting on Philip and his fishing, I'll go ahead and answer one of the questions. Someone had asked if we are retired. Well, I'm a housewife. I haven't worked in about five, wait a minute. We've been here for five years, so I haven't worked in seven years? Oh my God. I just realized that. I was gonna say five years, but it's actually been seven years. That's crazy. But anyway, um, Philip, he works in sales and um, so in solar sales. So um, that gives us the flexibility to be able to do things like we're retired, but technically no, we're not retired. Um, he's not retired. I, I guess you could say I retired seven years ago. <laughs> but um, anyway, so that's the answer to that question. Someone also asked, how did we meet? I'll wait until we're both together later to tell y'all that because Philip has his version. I have my version, okay? <laughs> we end up moving to Florida after a fishing trip, we had went to Panama City Beach for his 50th birthday, and we did a deep sea fishing trip. Um, he had wanted to move to the Galveston area, but um, I was like, after we came down here for the trip, I was like, well, instead of moving to Galveston, let's just go ahead and move to Florida. And it wasn't anything planned. We went back and we told the family we were moving to Florida. I don't think they really believed us. <laughs> and so we just packed up everything and we moved. We moved to Florida with literally $5,000 in our pocket. That's it. That's all we had. And we just stepped out on faith. And so far, everything's been working out, you know. So um, that's why I say if you want to do something, just do it. Don't wait around because you we really don't know how much time we have on this earth so if something is in your mind to do then just do it just do it step out on faith and just do it you know you really can create the life that you want and um when philip and i first met he had told me that he did not want for me to work he wanted me to stay home and it was really hard for me at first, y'all. I mean, it, it took me months to finally agree to being a housewife because I was always so strong and so independent. And, um, but once I did settle into it and, uh, cause believe me, I, I'm glad I ain't gotta go to work. I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't, I didn't really like it that much, you know? So, um, what I did was I just took all of the energy that I had and I put that energy into him, you know, and allowed him to become the person that he wanted to be. And um, now that he's in that position where he want to be, where he has the freedom to fish on when he feel like fishing, you know. <laughs> and um, so now I had the opportunity to start walking in my purpose and I wanted to start a YouTube channel. And in the beginning, um he wasn't really with it <laughs> that's why at the beginning you mostly see me in the intros but um he started coming around now and you know i'm glad he did because i remember when i first started the youtube channel i was like um well i'm a married woman how am i gonna do a youtube channel and you don't want to be in the videos and you know and he was like well i'll support you but i'm not trying to be all on camera and everything but he has gotten so much better, so much better. So I am grateful for that. But yeah, so we just end up moving to Florida without a plan. We didn't know where we were gonna live. We just packed all of our stuff up in the truck with a trailer with my car on the back of it. And I drove the um, SUV 
and um he drove the the trailer with my car on the back and we didn't even ride in the same vehicle coming to florida we decided to go and we just did it you know and i feel like this is where we're supposed to be um for y'all that don't know my oldest son had passed away in 2020 and um so i really do feel like me being here in florida really saved my life because if i had a still been in oklahoma or texas i don't know that i would have been able to handle it you know when it happened but being here being able to go to the beach being able to be by the water being able to be out in nature i mean it, it's just kind of hard to stay down you know so and when I first started this YouTube channel, I really was doing it because I've always been a type of person who liked to take a lot of pictures and a lot of videos and stuff like that. And I had been off of social media for a couple of years. And so I was just like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start me um, a YouTube channel. And I really didn't know what I was going to talk about. I didn't know what it was going to be about. And um, so I was just kind of like all over the place doing vlogs, doing cooking, going fishing, uh, just whatever I felt like doing. I'm like, well, we live in Florida. So no matter what we're doing, we're living that Florida life, you know. So I end up calling it that because I wanted family, friends, but mostly my grandchildren to see what I do like because I only get to see them in the summer which makes it really hard well I, I get to see them um Thanksgiving and Christmas this last Thanksgiving and Christmas we had them Thanksgiving Christmas and New Year's but uh yeah two years in a row so I don't know if we gonna have them this Thanksgiving Christmas and New Year's though but um, we definitely will have them for the summer. They usually come for a month in the summer, but this time they're going to be here for the entire summer. Well, my youngest granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, Riley, that's my oldest son's daughter. So she's going to come and stay for a month and then she's going to spend time with her mother's side of the family for the rest of the summer. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, we're just regular people. Um, nothing special about us other than uh we just live life you know and trying to be as happy as we can being our authentic selves and i really want to encourage other people as well to just be who you are you know it, it's so freeing starting this youtube channel has been so freeing for me just to be able to be myself my true self and not have to worry about what nobody think about me and just you know Enjoy life. You done? <laughs> that didn't last long. That's a handy dandy uh, gadget right there. We didn't went from uh, leg quarters to hamburgers. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> hey, y'all. Okay, so Philip is going to give his version of how we met. Okay, <laughs> let me tell y'all my story. So my thing is, I was just getting off work. I don't remember if I was getting off work or going to work, but anyway, I was dressed in a full suit because back then that's what I wore to work was a suit. So I stopped at 7-Eleven to get some things, you know, and I was coming out the store and I saw this little lovely lady right here. <laughs> so what I done is turned around, went back in the store. Now, she didn't see me, but I saw her. So I went in the store, wasted a little time, but ten like I was buying things. I didn't want to look like a creep or nothing, you know. So I just <laughs> kind of wasted stalking. the time. He was so stalking. to make a long story short, <laughs> me and her so happened to go out in the store at the same time. So she walked so to the happy. pump. She walked to the pump. I guess she had got gas or whatever, and she was sitting in the car. So I walked over to the car, and I start talking to her, and she can go from there. <laughs> okay, well, the part that he left out is that he thought it was going to be a booty call. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. He thought it was going to be one of them one-night stand actions going on, but he found out real quick that I had a lot more to offer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, real talk, seven years later, 
that one day at 7-Eleven was thinking I was going to be like, okay, I'm going to just meet her and I uh, wasn't serious, whatever, you know, and next thing you know, we're married seven years later. <laughs> this is how it happened. You guys wanted to know? That's his story. That's his story. Now I'm going to tell y'all mine. <laughs> <laughs> we just keeping it simple tonight, y'all. Put that lid on there, that, that cheese and milk. Oh, just having us some burgers on the grill. Mm -hmm. Just something simple tonight. Yep. Guess we're going to eat burgers. What'd you say? Didn't catch no fish. So <laughs> Man, you've been Once fishing. You've been fishing since four o'clock this morning. <laughs> Five thirty this morning. You've been fishing. We spent the whole day fishing, hoping we was gonna have fish for dinner, but we're just keeping it simple, having us some burgers and chips. I got me some uh head and country barbecue sauce and some uh bread and butter pickles. Oh my goodness, it's about to be good. My vegetables right there. <laughs> they uh bread and butter pickles. Uh, I'll try some. Oh, bread and butter pickles, bomb with barbecue sauce. I'll try some. Bomb. So, Philo gave y'all his version. Now, let me give y'all uh, the real version. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I was on my way to work, and it was a 7-Eleven that I never usually go by. You know what? As a matter of fact, let me go back. Let me go back a little bit. Okay. When me and Philip first met... I was in the process of going through a divorce, okay? I had been married for 13 years, and uh, I had filed for a divorce, had been separated for about a year and a half, and was waiting for him to sign the papers to um, not contest the, the divorce, basically. So he was being slow about it. So um, I had my youngest son had just, when y'all met Chari, my baby boy, <laughs> he had just went off to college. My other two children were already gone and he had just went off to college. And so I was living alone and it was my first time ever living by myself ever because I had children at a young age and it was my first time ever living by myself. So anyway, I had been living by myself for about four months and you know, I was in the dating scene, dating a little bit. And I was just like, it was just too much, you know, after being married for 13 years, I was just like, God, I'm a wife, okay? I I, I can't be out in these streets like this. It, it just it just wasn't me, you know? So um, I prayed and I asked God to send me somebody. I, he, he he probably didn't know all this, you know? He, he, he thought it was going to be a booty call, but he didn't know I was manifesting that soulmate energy with it. <laughs> so I made a list and I asked God for what I wanted in the list. And then I sealed it up in a piece of, in an envelope. And I just started loving on me. I started taking care of me. I started going out to dinner, taking myself out to dinner. I went to the movies by myself. It was the first time I'd ever done anything like that. So when I met Philip, I was on my way to work. So I'm in that, you know, I got that glow. I got that, you know, I'm, I'm a single woman. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing or whatever glow. So I didn't know that he was watching me, though, because I wasn't even paying no attention at all. I wasn't. So when I got in the car to get ready to go to work, he walked up to the car and he had on a full suit. <laughs> <laughs> he had on a full suit, but the suit, you know, it was like that gave him confidence. You know, he, he had on the full suit. So he came over there, you know, we was chatted up or whatever. Now, one thing that I had said when I had asked God to send me somebody, I said, I don't want it to be anybody I know. I don't want it to be through social media. I don't want it to be through no dating sites. I don't want it to be like somebody introduced us. I said, I want it to be totally random so that I'll know that it's from you, God. So when he walked up to the car in the suit <laughs> and I looked up at him, I was like, oh, God, no, not him, not him. But the reason why I said that is because. When I looked into his eyes, now this might get a little deep, y'all. But when I looked into his eyes, I seen all of the past lives that we had been together. Yeah. I had seen all the past lives we had been together. And I was like, oh, he didn't fail me again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. And um, so he gave me his card or whatever. I don't know if he was expecting for me to 
call you that day. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think I texted you that day. I think so. I yeah, remember. I think I texted him that, that night, and we were talking about going out on a date. So I said, okay, I'm going to give him a chance. I'm like, okay, God, you know, this is what I asked for, so I'm going to go for it. And I kid y'all not, the first six months of us being together, literally, I could not look him in the eyes. I could not look him in the eyes. I felt like my heart was going to explode. <laughs> I couldn't look him in the eyes. I just couldn't do it. And it's even hard now, you know. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? What? Is that too much? No, you good. <laughs> do what you do, baby. So anyway, um, we started dating. Well, actually, I was planning to move to Atlanta. And um, I think, well, maybe about a week after we started um, conversating, I went to Atlanta. I think so. That's yeah, I had went to Atlanta. Maybe a couple of weeks or whatever, I went to Atlanta. And so when I was in Atlanta, I was reaching out to him, but he wasn't answering my calls. So I had told my friend in Atlanta, hey, Carla. I had told her, I was like, um, you know, I don't know. I don't think he's interested. He's not answering none of my calls and uh, none, none of that. So I'm just done with it. So when I got back home. So here's the story. on that. <laughs> While she was gone, somehow or another, I think I left my phone at work or something, but long story short i lost my phone he lost his phone you know? now keep in mind i did not have her number because you know nobody remember numbers nowadays <laughs> it's all in your cell phone you lose I your don't cell even know phone, my number to this you day lose your, you lose your <laughs> lifeline but anyway that's what happened so i didn't know she had been calling me so when she got back i guess she had been back a, a couple of days or so I haven't heard from her once I got a new phone, but the number was still the same. So I guess she had stopped calling me by then. So I remembered it. I did one time we did, I went by her house. Yeah, I went by her house to drop her off one day or something. We'd been out on a date. So I said, well, I know where she lives. So I just knocked on her door. <laughs> he showed up. He just showed up. And I was like, what are you doing just showing up at my house like this? Because mind you, we had just been dating. It wasn't anything serious. We went on a couple of dates, and that's it. You know, it wasn't anything serious. So, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what it was. And um, after two months, we ended up moving in together. And then a year later, after my divorce finally went through, I had to wait six months before it was finalized. And he was like, hey, let's do it. I don't believe in shacking up. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Um, we end up getting married and um you know so that's just it so that's we, that's the story yep that's the story that's and um, <laughs> and as far as how many children that we have um i have three and he have three Bro, we both have two boys and a girl but my oldest son he passed away in uh march of 2020 and um he was in a car accident which he walked away from the car accident fine but he had a punctured lung and he ended up um, um, passing away a couple of weeks later. But I'm not going to get into that right now. That you know, That's the story I'll tell y'all later because it's, it's so much more to that. But um, anyway, I just want to let y'all know. Oh, and as far as grandchildren, my daughter has a daughter, Jersey. And um, my oldest son has a daughter, Riley. And his oldest son has um, a daughter, Liberty. And we get Jersey and Raleigh come to stay with us every summer. Unfortunately, um, Liberty hasn't been able to come stay with us yet. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping one day that she'll, someday, yeah, one someday day she'll she be able to come hang out yeah, and she'll we will show her the Florida lot. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> hopefully, because uh, I would really like for her to be able to experience everything that Raleigh and Jersey, you know, be able to experience. But, um, but anyway, yeah. So. Uh, we get Riley and Jersey come every summer and the last couple of years we've had them for Thanksgiving Christmas and New Year's <laughs> And it's like it's starting to become a habit and and uh, so Going into 2025. I don't think we're gonna have them for New Year's. I don't know. We'll have to see but oh, we need to do I want to be on a cruise for uh, 2025 that is what I am putting okay, out into okay. the air. Okay, but anyway y'all um, these lights are getting hot so if y'all hopefully we answered all the questions oh um we are not in the military um but philip used to be a police officer <laughs> long time ago <laughs> but um 
that's pretty Isn't much that it. it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. We're just normal people, just enjoying life. No, we're not retired, but we're just living like we are, taking it day by day, and just enjoying life and not worried about um, the whole American dream. We have created our own dream, and we're living life by our own terms, and we're, hopefully we're encouraging you to do the same because life is short, and you got to enjoy while you can. <laughs> and one thing I will say about that, adding to what my wife said, you have to enjoy life. You have to do it now because if you wait, you may not never get that chance. That's right. That's right. And the thing is, is like without getting too deep in our business, but Philip has been married before and I have been married before. Hopefully we answered all y'all questions and we appreciate y'all for watching the video. It wasn't as one of those all over the place exciting videos. It was more laid back because this part that we're at is more laid back and it's just been a chill vibe this whole time. And we will see y'all in the next one. Peace, Peace out.